somebody crossing the street, we're slowing for them. They are displayed. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's good. It, it's good. It's not done. We've seen that a lot in this video. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. Today we are heading to one of the most dangerous roundabouts in Michigan. I'm not all that familiar with it, but I am getting requests from people. Let's see if it takes that sign. Nope, it is not school time, so it doesn't need to change the speed. Getting a lot of requests for this roundabout. I don't know all that much about it myself, but it has some of the most accidents of any roundabout in the state. So we're gonna see if the car can handle that. We'll attempt it a few times and do some other downtown city driving to test out Tesla's full self-driving beta. Disclaimer, the beta is not finished, so it can make mistakes. That's why my hands are on the wheel, just in case to take over and correct it. If you see the blue steering wheel here, that means the car is making all maneuvers at that time. I cannot take over. If I do, it's pretty obvious. It makes that sound. The steering wheel turns gray. So I actually do want to take over here because I don't want it to make its way to the highway. So now I am driving. Over 70% of people watching the channel these days are not subscribed. So if you're enjoying these videos, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate that. We need to slow down for the speed limit there. I would love to hit 100,000 subs and get that sweet silver plaque if only half of the unsubbed people in the last 28 days would have subscribed, we'd already be at 100K. So I really appreciate that if you wanna do that. So you can see we have a police officer on the other side of the road. The car actually is showing a person there on the screen and the two cars, so that's really good. As of now, the system is not responding to emergency vehicles. It will get there eventually. Elon Musk has tweeted about that. But as of now, if uh, something was coming up behind me, I would most likely need to take over and move the car out of the way on my own. One more thing I think I should address. Uh, Green, the only on Twitter who kind of a Tesla hacker, he gets into the code and finds lots of good stuff for us. He found a lot of settings for full self-driving beta and you should go check it out for yourselves. I don't want to go through all of it because it's a lot. But there's basically switches and toggles for all these things. Very interesting. I'm not sure exactly what to think, but one of them, uh, a few stuck out, but one that I noticed was control for yield signs is currently turned off. So I don't know if it's not ready, it's not good enough, or why that is, but it would answer why, if you've been uh, following the series, you're seeing that when I go to roundabout or any yield sign, the car stops at it like a stop sign and then continues, which, as we know, is not the right move. So once that gets toggled on, we should have correct yield sign control. So we just need to set a new destination on the other side of the roundabout to make sure we actually go through it. So we will be taking, when we get there, the second exit through the roundabout. I also did have a flat tire the other day. Some of you may have seen my post. Uh, it took uh, about one day. They didn't have my tire in stock, but I used uh, Tesla's roadside assistance and the experience was great. The guy picked me up in less than an hour, took me right to where I needed. I left my car at Discount Tire. These roads are terrible until my tire came in, which was the next morning and I picked it up the next day. So I was out of commission for a day there. It was not full self-driving beta related. I wasn't even, I, I don't know what happened. I left in the morning for work and got on the highway and it said tire pressure low and I saw like some kind of gash or something on the sidewall. So I don't know if I had no sentry mode footage. I really have no clue what happened. I would assume it happened while I was driving that morning, but I didn't hit any curbs or anything. So that was really strange. So random right turn signal into the right turn only lane. We don't want that. So now the car is going to move back because it realizes it made a mistake. So very strange that it did that, but very interesting that it then turned the left turn signal back on and corrected itself really nicely, just kind of like a person would do. You know, you get in the wrong lane sometimes and you just got to fix that. So wouldn't expect a computer to make that mistake, but it did for some reason. Approaching our first right turn here, you can see that car turned all the way across and uh, the Tesla was tracking it really nicely. Right turns have been really, really good and super impressive for the most part. So we have a green light, so this is pretty easy. Left turns are still a little iffy sometimes. So going a little slow through that, but it is figuring it out. And yeah, so that, okay. <laughs> I talk about how good right turns have been and then it's kind of a little goofy, but it did, it did get it done. So things like potholes, people are asking. So that's not really a pothole, but you could maybe consider it one, it's a little hole. The car doesn't seem to avoid them. So at this time of year, we don't have too many. It's more gonna be in a few months when the everything starts thawing. 
The dirt roads, though, of course, always have lots of holes all over them, and the car does not seem to care at all. Now, for paved roads versus dirt roads, will it act differently? Will it avoid paved road potholes? It is coming. Again, that's another thing. Yeah, so that, it didn't avoid it all. Elon Musk has commented about the car being able to see potholes and avoid them, but at this time, that doesn't seem to be implemented at all. So getting a stopping for traffic control message there. I think that was for the train tracks, which of course it shouldn't be doing unless there's a train coming. So here is the famous roundabout with lots of accidents in the state, random braking there. So I touched the accelerator to stop that from happening. And now we are approaching the roundabout a little fast here, but we're slowing at the yield. And we did go through, wow, that was actually really good. Uh, yield wise and we did have uh, clearance there and yeah that was not good so the car went to the right lane when it should have been staying to the left because that's the lane it was in we're now traveling also in this right turn lane which isn't good Let's see what it does so it does fix itself but no good and then it's gonna turn right here so let's uh, turn around and get going on that roundabout again Okay, so I have the destination set up, so we'll take the third exit. I can try to let it handle everything here. This is a little airport road, so there's nobody on it. So creeping forward, checking for visibility. Everybody else has stopped. I'm not sure why my light's still red. Okay, just changed to green, that's why. So that was a good move. We were able to go on the red there. Turn right on red is legal, unless there's a sign. So we have the left turn signal on, which, nope, that's not right, so. Don't do that. So we will turn this back on, back on track, yield to both lanes. So we could have went there, but not also a terrible decision to stop because we did have some cars coming from the left and I'm hitting the accelerator because it's clear and the car is just being a little hesitant. So now we're in the roundabout and hugging a little bit and yeah, really weird, but okay, all right, it did handle it. Just a little bit of weirdness with the lanes there. So it did go to the third exit, and then we have a Michigan left up here, so we'll check that out as well. With a, what is that, an ambulance over there? Oh my gosh, there's a lot happening. Yep, so ambulance, but divided highway, so I don't need to do anything about that. So moving into the left turn lane for the Michigan left, which is very good. Going a little slow. I think the map is kind of messed up. It looks like on the map we're already there, but we're not. So the car seems to be a tiny bit confused. Oh yeah, I messed it up. Hold on, can we turn it back on? No, we can't. All right, so now I'm gonna attempt a full circle around. Oh my gosh, this is confusing. What is even happening? Okay, I understand. I'm gonna attempt a full circle around the roundabout. I think the directions might change too late for the car to handle it. Uh, yep, because I need to go and I can't turn autopilot on. So. Yeah, that's, that's a little tricky. This, this roundabout is, is pretty confusing. That guy kind of cut me off, but is he like supposed to be able to do that? Oh my gosh, I can see why there's a lot of accidents in that roundabout. That is ridiculous. All right, so let's take it into downtown. I'm gonna be done with that roundabout. That was, that I don't know, something about it. It was definitely weird. I can see why there are accidents there. Let's take it into downtown, do a little bit of downtown driving, and then I wanna finish up if I can find them again with some speed bumps because I haven't shown them yet, and oh man, are they impressive. I don't think the car has missed a speed bump yet, and it just slows down perfectly for them. It's, it's almost eerie how good it is. So finally making it into downtown with a little bit of weirdness on the steering wheel there. We stopped back a little far. I don't know, there's a line kind of that we stopped on that you can see the, the line up there and another one here. Not sure if the car did that on purpose or not. We do have a right turn coming up, but I think we're gonna miss it. Uh, okay, the car is just gonna take the turn from the outside lane. Yeah, not exactly what you're supposed to do, but since nobody was there, I let it happen. Otherwise I would have just taken over. And then, whoa. It gave us a really complicated thing. I don't know, maybe you have to do that. That's the thing with the beta is it, it okay, this is wrong again. Oh, there you go, okay. Now, it waited for the little opening in the lane, that's why. That's the thing with the beta, when I put these destinations in, 
because it's in the nav and the car is doing all the driving, I don't exactly know what we're doing. I just kind of let the car do it. So green light here, proceeding through. There's nobody on the opposite side, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And then we're going to immediately turn left again. So the car did a great job with that, staying in this left turn lane. Whether it did it on purpose or not is another story. <laughs> be interesting if we were going to go straight. Would the car have moved over to that lane? Not sure. Finally, green. There are a lot of lights here. So car proceeding very nicely on that green left arrow. Oh, we have double left turn lane. I didn't even realize. And very nicely handled that. So that was great. Uh, one thing people have been commenting on is, you know, I tell you whenever I use the accelerator and, you know, some people are like, oh, please use it less or stop using it. We want to see what the car's going to do. And it's, it's, I don't mind. Keep, you know, keep telling me what you want to see. I'm, I'm doing the best to, to implement all the comments into the videos and, and give you guys what you want. But it's a lot easier said than done, uh, especially when the car is going very slowly, very obvious to me, it's not going to do what it needs to do or move. Then I have people around me. I don't want to confuse them. I don't want to be in the way at all. So you can see all these people are, you know, kind of speeding past us and they're speeding. I mean, the speed limit's 35 and so they're all speeding. And so they're probably, or maybe looking at me like, oh, this guy's in the way, whatever. But the car is just following the rules. And, and that's one of the toughest things I think going to be going forward is the, the transition from autonomous cars and people. Oh, so we're slowing. I wonder if it was for that stop sign. I didn't look at the screen, but I did hit the accelerator. That, that transition from a mix of every all humans driving to humans and autonomous vehicles. Right lane ends 600 feet. I would assume that's a sign the car cannot read, but we're turning right, so it doesn't matter too much for us. You could tell it was also a new sign because it has orange flags on it. So it's kind of bringing your attention to that sign. Same with that, that also that sign ahead telling us the same thing. It must be new because it has the orange flags on it. So nice right turn there into the neighborhood. Getting a little close to the yellow line, but nothing I need to take over for. And the car is stopping. I don't know why, there's no message on the screen. So I had to hit the accelerator there, just bump it so it would continue. And that's one of those times there's somebody behind me, I don't want to confuse them. So I just tell the car to go. So car trying to decide between, yeah, see the, the straight and the left turn lane. So I'm just gonna stop it there. I'm just going to send the car into the middle of this neighborhood to complicate this a little bit. All right, so sent it into the middle of this neighborhood. We'll go a little slow around here. So you can see this car coming up that you can now see was on the display for a while before we made that turn. So it's good the car can see that. So moving over for that parked car and then just staying where it is despite the car on our left. So complete stop and there are cars coming, but I don't know if it was waiting for those or what. Wow. Okay. That was magical because it made the complete stop. And I was like, why is it complete stopping? There's no cars. And then I saw the cars. <laughs> so that was very cool. And I said, oh, maybe the car's stopping. I thought it was just messing up, but really good maneuver there. And it's kind of creeping to the left there. I don't know why. So I took over. I didn't want that person to my left to think I was going <laughs> to drive into them or something. Okay, so I need to change destinations really quick here. I'm just going to go to here and try to find those roundabouts on the way. So the car does have the right turn signal on, which is cool because I do want to go right. So this is, you know, some people asking what it does if you don't have a route. Well, now it has to make a decision and it looks like it's going to turn right. So green light, very good, moved right through. In that situation before, when you don't have a green arrow and there's cars coming, people were talking about, should you move into the intersection and then go on yellow? Should you wait behind the line? And it sounds like it's different depending on where you are. I did not look up the laws for Michigan. A lot of people, it sounds like most people, you move up when it turns green. And if your only opportunity to go is when it turns yellow and then red, that's when you do it. That's the legal way to do it. So like I said, I didn't look it up for Michigan, but 
that uh, depends where you live. And the car will be able to handle those localities. That's another thing people ask often. Right now, even the public build acts differently in Europe than it does in the USA because there's different regulations there. So if your area has different rules and, and has to do different things than what you're seeing in my videos in Michigan, the car should eventually be able to handle those differences. trapped i have to take the highway all right i'm just gonna cut out the highway part all right so heading into the neighborhood that has the speed bumps i don't have a destination set so i shouldn't need one but we can see what the car will do for this fedex truck you can already see if it'll let me turn it on you can already see it's making a path around it there we go so i want to slow down as they requested with their little signs back there and yeah, actually pretty good i was gonna say a tiny bit close but nope then it fixed itself and it did a great job. Lots of garbage cans, it must be garbage day. And they are all on the screen, it seems like. So let's find these speed bumps because it's very cool. Another delivery truck for us to go around. The car is not doing it yet. I assume it will, yep. It decided it was parked. Oh, that was my fault. I just had my hand on the wheel and accidentally resisted its movement. So I did not mean to take over there. It, it was doing a good job going around that UPS van, UPS truck. So again, no destination and we have a dead end here. So let's see what the car's gonna do. It's gonna turn right, which I actually wanna turn left. So I'm gonna take over. So here are the speed bumps. Of course, now autopilot is not on. But it will be. Bam. All right, we'll leave it at 25 so you can really see it slowing down. So speeding up to 25. <laughs> that guy went a little hard over the speed bump. Slowing down for this speed bump. Very nice, perfect, comfortable speed over the speed bump. Speeding back up. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Okay, here's the next one. I saw his car go flying as he went over it. Slowing down. I don't know how it sees it or how it knows. We've got somebody crossing the street. We're slowing for them. They are displayed. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's good. It, it's good. It's not done. We've seen that a lot in this video. But the, the stuff it's good at, it's so good at, and it makes it so exciting. Another slowdown. I mean, you get the point. I've, I don't interact with a lot of speed bumps, but the ones I've, I don't think it's missed one for me yet. It's, it gets all of them and it slows down for all of them perfectly appropriately and then speeds back up. So that just, it really impresses me about the system. All these little things, I didn't even think about speed bumps in full self-drive, I didn't even think about it because like I said, I don't interact with them that much. But when I came across them, I was like, wow, that's so cool. So I hope you enjoyed this one, that's gonna be it. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see me and maybe full self-driving beta in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 